Hello everybody, I am Nathan Philip and welcome to Nicks and Ains. Today we are going to discuss something very interesting. If you are a student, you will come across this scenario very soon. But if you are a working professional, I am sure that you might have come across this scenario. Let's find out what it is. It's all about you doing a spectacular job at your work and somebody else is taking the credit of what you've done. So today we are going to see how you can get rid of those blood sucking worms in a company. Alright, let's take two scenarios here. One is Mr. X, that's a normal employee and another one is Mr. Bloodsucker. He could be your manager or your colleague or whoever it is. All right, so let's assume that Mr. Bloodsucker is the person who is taking all the credit from you and Mr. X is you, all right? I'm just going to show you something here. I'm sure you can correlate this scenario with your real life. Stay tuned. Hello, Mr. X. We have a fantastic project coming up and I know you are one of these super persons or super professionals here who can handle this. Honestly, you know what? I have no idea about this project. I'm sure you've got great ideas and you can add value to this project. Oh, Mr. Bloodsucker Boss. Yes, I know, I know. Yes, this topic is very familiar to me. I'm sure that I can add value and I can give you all the best ideas in the world. Oh, wow, that is fantastic, Mr. X. I knew that you would say the same thing. I'm sure that I will take you to the highest of this organization. And you know what? I will give you the keys of this company so that you can run the show. Oh, Mr. Bloodsucker Boss, that's so nice of you. I know that you would give me credit for what I'm doing. And I really trust you, boss. I really trust you. You are my god. Hello, Mr. CEO. You know what? I have studied this project very well and I came up with some fascinating ideas and I have assigned it to one of my best team in the organization and I have explained everything. I gave him all the ideas, all the suggestions and I'm sure that the team is ready to go. Oh, thank you Mr. CEO. I'm really delighted that you are acknowledging my efforts. Oh Mr. Boss, I've done this project. You see, I hardly slept two to three hours a day for the last two weeks. It was kind of wrestling with my life. But you know what? I am really happy about the output. I am sure that you will love this project, Mr. Blasaking Boss. <laughs> oh my boy! You did it again. This is amazing. Last night I read through the project and it is fabulous. I will make you the superman of this company. Oh boss, but I don't have the superman's costume. Where is it? Don't worry, don't be silly. I have ordered most expensive Superman's costume for you. Plus the expensive cookies. Really? Uh -huh. Hey, someone else is wearing Superman's costume. Where is mine? Hello, hello. Give it back to me. It is mine. My boss has ordered it for me. How dare you take it? Get lost, man. It's mine, it's mine. It came in my name. If you go down, go and ask your boss. Boss, you know what? Someone else is wearing my costume. I think company has made a mistake. They have sent it to the wrong person, boss. Oh no, they did not make a mistake. They have sent it to the right person. But you know what? That person who is wearing the costume is 0 0.00001% above you. You know what? He performed last two days of his appraisal and he got that costume. But don't worry boy, I have spoke so high about you. You will get that expensive cookies, which is very amazing. Oh boss, I am really depressed boss. Don't worry, I too, I am very sad. I spoke so high about you to the entire people in this organization. But unfortunately, that person got it. Don't worry, next year you will get it. I will make sure you will get it, okay? Okay boss. I will wait for next year. But when will I get my cookies, boss? You will get your cookies very soon. Maybe next month. Let's wait. Hello, Mr. Boss. 
Where are my cookies? All others got cookies. But I got some cheap chocolates. What is it, boss? You're busy? Can I talk to you now? Oh, boss, come on, I want to talk to you now. Oh my god, I lost my costume and my cookies. This clutch such a boss has cheated. You have just seen what really happens in corporate world. It happened to a few of my closest friends. And this incident which I have shown you right now, this has taken from real life scenario. So, how can you gather up this sort of blood sucking worms in your organization? We are going to talk about that. Now, imagine if you are going to do something or something very big, make sure everybody in your organization knows that you are going to handle that project. And don't work for organization where a single person is handling the entire show. Suppose if you do not have an HR person or if you do not have any other managers or if you do not have access to your boss's boss, maybe you are wasting your time. Now here is here is a take. If you are only working for your paycheck or if you're not really worried about your promotions or position height or if you're not super dreamy about your career, then it's fine. You can stay wherever you want. But I'm going to talk about people who are super ambitious about their life and if they want to take their career to the next level, do not work for organizations where a single boss is handling the entire show and if he and if he is not giving you visibility in the organization and if he keeps on telling you that you are doing an amazing job, you are doing great, you are fantastic, even if you go to the bathroom, he will tell you, you have done a great job just by going to the bathroom. How crazy is that? So, do not work for such organizations. So, work for organizations which has got proper structure, proper appraisal schemes and where you can expose yourself to the organization. So whenever you achieve something, make sure you are being loud about it. You are being vocal about it. So let the people in the organization hear and learn that it is done by you, not anyone else. So have weekly meetings or monthly meetings. Call all your teams together. If the project is not so confidential, you can bring all your team together in one room and discuss to them regarding the improvements or the milestones you have achieved in that project. Now, if the project is confidential, bring all the stakeholders in and tell them what you've done so that nobody can steal your work and put you behind them. So this scenario has happened in many organizations. Many people, they just keep quiet and they let others take their credit and grow up in the career ladder. But then this poor guy who is a hard worker always remain on the bottom of the organization. So this should not happen. So in order to get rid of this, be smart, be vigilant and be active and next thing I want to tell you is that whenever you are doing something amazing you make sure that you write that in your appraisal and make sure your boss gives you credit for what you've done so next time when you go when your file has been transferred to other departments people know that you have worked on some amazing projects and you are a person who can be relied and you are you are such a creative person and you can bring value to the organization make sure you get that third thing after your appraisal ask for a review report because in front of you he might write something and he will send something else to his bosses or to the HR division so ensure you get a feedback report where all these things are written properly and this report should come from HR department not from your boss so try doing all this and I'm sure that you will have a great journey in a career so don't be a fool don't be a victim, be a hero and take credit for what you're doing and I wish you all great success in your career and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and share this video with your friends and family so they might also get benefited out of it. Now if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you don't subscribe my channel, I will take your cookies and costumes and I will leave you empty handed okay I'll see you tomorrow with my weight loss update till then you guys stay safe take care bless you